Hi, I'm Ryan Levine with Utah Working Capital, and I'd like to talk about how to calculate a break-even point. A break-even point is used by companies to determine how much needs to be produced and how much needs to be sold for the company to actually break even, uh, in, um, implying that a company is going to make an initial investment and wants to see exactly how long it's going to take before they make that return back uh, and they're squared even. In order to calculate a break-even point, a company must first understand exactly what their fixed costs are. A fixed cost is a cost that's going to take place uh, no matter how many units you produce, uh, no matter how uh, many sales you have, um, or how much inventory you purchase. A, a fixed cost is going to be the, the monthly payment that's going to come for your rent or your utilities, how much you're paying for payroll. It's going to come every single uh, week or month, no matter what you can expect it to come. Um, in order to calculate the break-even point, you take the, the fixed cost and you divide it by the price of the product subtracted by the variable cost. The variable cost is the amount of money that you're actually paying for the good that you're selling. So for example, if I'm selling um, a set of pencils for $10 um, and it cost me $4 um, to, to purchase the pencils or to make the pencils, um, I would then take 10 minus 6 um, and that would give me my price minus my variable cost. So again, to recap, in order to get a break-even point, you take your fixed cost, divide it by your price, subtract it by your variable cost to give you your break-even point. For further additional questions, contact us at utworkingcapital at gmail.com.